Hi folks, Thursday, next to change. Went out today, as usual, bought a couple of bits. Not a lot, but I'll show you while I'm here. Then I've uh, got a little tag that I might start up at the end. Because this, when you do a tag, you don't have to rely on whether people want to do it or not. They either come across the tag and think, I'm going to do it, or they don't. So, what lovelies have I bought today? Well, bought one or two bits today. Where are they? They're here. Um, one was this, I'll show you this. Uh, can't bloody even hold it. Probably lots of you have actually got these. I've seen them uh, uh, on here in the dollar store and all that sort of thing. I've got a few of these, but they're all being used for something or the other. Uh, I bought this because hanging up there is a. I suppose you could put a tiny bird in it if it's that bloody cruel, but it's like a little ornamental bird cage. I always had the door open so if I can get it in that's going to sit in there looking out the door saying are you ever going to let me down because I'm freaking starving and I feel like a bloody skeleton. <laughs> and got this. Didn't get much. Beware. It's got skulls in it. I'm a sucker for skulls. Um, where to hang that I don't know. Probably the kitchen just to warm people. Beware if you need here. I'm a pretty shit chef. And the other bits really as to why I wanted to do this video because these are the last bits I bought. I bought two and the so flipping the novel. Pound land again, pound each. I was there looking at the bits and bobs and I could hear this bloody noise and I was thinking, where the hell is this noise coming from? And I thought it was up there, I was looking and it was down there in front of me. And it was one of these little things sitting on a box. And I'll show you what it is. It's called a creepy motion sensor. Again, they use bloody creepy and everything at this time of year and they're not particularly creepy. This will prove me wrong. Uh, it's a little blackbird. And I shall open this one up when I find out how you open it. Woo! I love it when you, it rips off, but still doesn't open it. <coughs> right. Um, see a little bit of plastic there, so obviously I pull that out and it sets the battery off. But before I pull it out, it's on a little clip. I want my food. It's on a little clip and the clip's bent. So it actually reminds you of a, an air clip. And if you had any, you could actually clip it onto your hair. Surprising, I've bloody got enough to clip it to. <laughs> well, that's a bloody shock. <laughs> so you can see it does work. But it would be really bloody novel if, if you could clip this into your hair. It's a little blackbird. And I'm going to check this out now because it's a motion sensor. If you can hear that. So I was there going, where the bloody hell was that noise coming from? And there's a woman over the back somewhere going, where the hell is that noise coming from? So, yeah little black it's no good sitting it in front of me is it 
little blackbird. We'll try the motion. Oh, great. Motion. Oh well. We'll try that again in a minute. A lot of bloody motion for this one to get going. I think it's freaking hungry or something. It seems to do it when it looks at me. Anyway, bought two of those because they're just bloody great. If I can get it to work, I'll stick it in the hallway or somewhere where you have to walk past. Really bloody cute. I'll, I'll do a picture so you can see it close up, but it's, it's a pretty neat little blackbird. It's probably going to drive me bloody mad, especially if the two keep going. So, yeah, the story. It's the frog. Saw these in a, a shop. Well, I didn't see them, I earthed the bloody thing. When I went past, I kept hearing, Riddick, Riddick. So this one particular time, I thought, hmm, I'll have a look to see what's bloody doing it. And there was this frog, Riddick, Riddick. So it's a motion sensor. Um, I bought two. One to go down the bottom of the hall, just for fun. You come in, go past it. And one I stuck in the, this room here, which is the, what I call the guest room. Why? Goodness bloody knows. That's me and gadgets. Anyway, one's down there, one's in here. I'm sitting here doing something and I'm hearing, ready. Reddick, Reddick. Behind me, there. So, I go in there. <coughs> Obvious as I go up to it. Reddick, Reddick, Reddick. So, I stopped. No movement. Just nothing. So I thought, maybe just one of them things. Maybe it's... Uh, something wrong with it and it, it sets off so come in here and it's too later ready 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 so went through that routine three bloody times and in the end i thought okay it's probably something with this bloody frog so what i'm gonna do i went out there took the frog put the one out of the guest room down at the bottom of the hall, put the one out of the hall into the guest room. So theoretically now, we're gonna get a Riddick from the bottom of the hall. So I'm sitting here, doing something, a couple of minutes later, Riddick, Riddick, Riddick. You guessed, bloody guest bedroom. What? The bloody hell. Different frog. The Riddick frog is down the bottom of the hall. The hall one is there going Riddick, Riddick. So I went into the room. The, the window in there was fairly shaded. Outside there is a couple of trees. It was a fairly sunny day. So I thought to myself, okay what's maybe doing this motion maybe if there's a shadow of with the sun putting a shadow of the trees like that maybe that's setting the frog off something like that so set the frog like that and add some books and everything so i set those there so the frog was right behind the books there was no way the the window or anything was going to to do a motion to the frog <coughs> the frog was sitting in the shadows behind these things <coughs> excuse me 
So, put it there, it's hidden in the shadows. Come in here, a couple of minutes later. Predict, predict, predict. The bloody frog. <laughs> now, whatever I did, um, until I took the bloody frog out there, because I was fed up of hearing riddicks, it would do it. So, it wasn't frog one, it was frog two, swapped them over, then it was frog one, not frog two. So it wasn't the frog. So, moral of the story is, what the hell was the bloody frog picking up? Because it will not go, there's no batteries at the moment, but it will not go without any motion. So something has to pass it, set it off in some way like that. It's not sound activated. You could go in there and play a bloody brass band and it wouldn't have set it off. You've got to have something pass it. So, folks, that's your guess as good as mine. I've seen spirits in this place. Well, I've had spirits pop in with a message for someone else that popped in and that popped out. <coughs> there was an old man that lived here before me who died. Um, possibly, I think he died in a hospice or something like that. Didn't actually die here, but I'm sure he probably visits. Now, whether or not I'm in the, the bigger bedroom the guest room is the smaller one. Whether or not he used the smaller one, I don't know, but um, I think out of the two rooms, that's the one that has got more of a feeling than the one I'm actually in. So whether or not um, he pops back every now and then just to see his old haunts, I don't know. But yes, whichever frog it was, it was picking something up and it wasn't anything from the window because I hid you, you little bugger, didn't I? So, whatever you want to think, folks. So yeah, there you go. One or two bits I bought today with the little birds. I hope they don't bloody start doing that. And, uh, well, it'll prove something if they do. I thought I'm going to start a new tag up. And the tag is GGT. Garth's got talent. Because Lots of people out there wouldn't want to believe it, but Goths are very, very talented bloody people. And I've got no doubts about that. Whether it's recreating clothes for the self, recreating things to wear, uh, buying one thing and turning it into another, whatever. Buying things for the, the home and, and turning them goth in some way or another. And then talents, there's, there's goths out there in, in all ways of life, different jobs, there's scientist goths, there's doctor goths, there's lawyer goths, there's people in the supermarket goths, they're in all sorts of jobs. And uh, the music world, the film world, the writing books, poetry, whatever, there's Goths out there with a hell of a lot of amazing talent. So, yeah, this tag, I'm not going to start it off in here, but I will do one. And uh, it's up to you if you want to do it. Um, it can be 15 seconds to a couple of minutes to... Well, let's have a look. The talent programmes, what did I give them? Minute summit or two minutes? So if you say a couple of minutes or so, whatever it takes. But if you've got a talent and you want to show it off to the world and show that Goths 
have got bloody talent amongst them then whatever that talent is well maybe not playing uh, the national anthem with flatulence or something I think we'll probably skip that one <laughs> but if you could, if you got a talent could be card tricks it could be singing it could be dancing uh, could be reading poetry uh, reading a little bit of something you wrote whatever your talent if you want to have a go at it for a couple of minutes and do it under the tag of GGT Goths have got talent then good on you but I will do a, an official video uh, to start it off and uh, we'll see what we can come up with uh, <laughs> should be a bit of fun I know there's a hell of a lot of hell of a lot of you out there that have got the guts to do it there's a hell of a lot of you out there with talents and nothing wrong with showing the world and whether people like those talents or not is bloody immaterial uh, <laughs> you think you got a talent show us a bit of it it's going to be bloody fun, isn't it? So, that way you can take your camera anywhere. So if it's uh, jumping off a, a 600 foot cliff, holding two of those little dandelion parachutes, so be it. <laughs> but I won't bloody try it. So folks, here's to the GGT. Here's to this beetroot that I'm hoping is gone sweet again <laughs> as it buggery oh. have fun folks mm -hmm.